Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, whatever time of the day it is in your neighborhood. Welcome to Essential Peace of Life. This is Lasagna. Thank you so much for joining me on today. To all of my new subscribers, thank you very much. Oh, you guys, we we actually hit a thousand subscribers. I am so, so like grateful for all of you guys. I am grateful for all of you guys thank you thank you so much for all of you who are coming back and rocking with me who's been rocking with me for a minute you guys absolutely you know the deal amen so check this out you guys so anyway um <laughs> so valentine's day went very well i mean we was out there i didn't even realize it had been a whole week we, <laughs> we was out there i mean a couple of days was out there for a few hours but we did very well, you guys. I mean, I ended up making a lot more um, baskets than... I mean, I, I guess it was like half and half. I may have made, you know, about 100 little small items. Um, and then I made like a 100 of, you know, the uh, bigger items. So, um, we did very well. Now, I think that I did about 10 boxes. 9 or 10 of those... Um, beautiful boxes um uh the baby boxes or whatever what have you and those are the first things that walked off the table i mean my my customers were actually looking for something um different and i delivered for them on that and they were all very very happy my men's gifts and my big gifts they all left the table first and um i had a few boxes that were left and at the end of the day i put them out first instead of putting all of my um and all of my small gifts but i ended up doing some um some um donating and things like that you know at the end of the day i had some people that came through and you know my thing is to make gifting easy for everyone um and also to put smiles on other people's faces and let me tell you something the spirit of god was out there baby with me um on all of that so at the end of the day we ended up doing um doing some work you know doing some charity work amen so we ended up doing some of those things and getting some of them bags off the table those small things even after i had packed up fam i had somebody come to me with a ten dollar bill and i'm just like listen um he said what you got for 10 he that's it that's all he had okay no problem okay so i had them packed up everything but between him and i was this um one of my red containers and inside of that red container were a bunch of small gifts and that is what i opened that container between him and i and we found something that he can put a smile on somebody's face for ten dollars and we did that fam we absolutely did so i was grateful for all of that i was grateful for all of you i was grateful for my ability to get up every morning and get out there and unpack and pack and display and all of those good things and um great people you know i had some great stories that came through i had one person that came through and she sat with me for about an hour and a half i ended up giving her my chair you guys so you know and i had someone else that came through and he sat there for a minute now the day before he had bought some gifts but he came back through and let me know that that um movie basket that popcorn basket say his wife absolutely loved it with the blanket and all that kind of stuff so he but he said his daughter was coming back in and she was um coming back in from the military that day um that next day he came by and he um he came and he found a gift for his daughter just because you know what i mean so not having not not having everything on the table that said valentine's day you know what i'm saying was a great deal for me you know so i did have some people that came through and they did buy you know even the baskets that did not um that was looking more like mother's day type baskets you know what i'm saying and not necessarily valentine's day through and through so i was able to um get rid of some of those bags as well and i am grateful for everything my husband helped me out quite a bit my daughter came out and she you know relieved me a couple of times because i of course i had to leave the table you know what i'm saying so um i remember when i was at the facility i told you guys that <laughs> some of the patients are actually watching my past because i mean you know family when you work by yourself you know what i'm saying you got you just got to trust god in everything little things and and big things so you know what i'm saying it might be a small thing you know what i'm saying they have to leave the table for a minute but you know god it was with me the whole whole time so i am grateful for all of that so now what we have been doing uh yesterday i went out of course you know i found some more of those penny balloons and you know what i figured out fam now when i bought those balloons they was like a little 
they was looking a little pitiful, you know, but I figured, you know, I invested in a helium balloon, and if they go down, that's fine, fam. I can blow them right back up. But anyway, when I got home, you know, I did not bother to um, take those balloons out of the car. They are still here. And look, fam, because it's so hot in here, I realized that that heat blew them balloons right back up, fam. Yeah. And they're beautiful balloons. So anyway, um, we're headed out to, yesterday we um, hit up, um, we went out to see what it is that um, Hobby Lobby had going on, right? And so um, I actually went out to pick up something for my grandson and I ended up in Hobby Lobby. Y'all know how that go. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't trust me, fam. You know, and still while I was out there, I ended up hitting up a couple of Dollar Generals to see what was going on. So it was 50% off um, their plush yesterday at um, at the Dollar General store. And I did not get to Walmart yesterday. Um, I may um, hit up Walmart tomorrow, but today is Michael's. So we're going to go over to Michael's and see what they got going on. And I don't know, we might stop by Walmart. It's right, right across the street. So... Um, I got the cleaning lady coming today and um, I'm going to work with her today because some things that I, you know, some things that you do, you just, you, you know, it seems like nobody can't do it except you. Now, she's good. You know, I really do appreciate her. Um, she's pretty much there. Um, my uh, my grown adult girls with these children, um, they that you know they they know how i like my house to be and so they work and they're busy and and things like that and so they got together and they got this um cleaner um for my house because i'm just okay i'm not mm -mm. y'all gotta get it together so anyway um she's a very she's very good oh that huge box i need that box i'm gonna have to come back and get it um so my girls got together and um they did that for me i think their brother was getting on their case too you know because mom has a standard and that's what it is okay um so we're headed to michael's right now and we're gonna see uh what's going on at michael's now look what i'm driving up on right now is that there ain't much traffic out here at michael's and um so we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on you know, I might I might have missed the traffic yesterday. I have no idea. But what I'm looking for is something very specific. And uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to see what's going on here in um, here in Michaels. We're going to see what's out here um, for um, Easter. It's not a much, not many things that I need. But um, we're going to go in here and see what's going on in Michaels. And then we may head over to Walmart. I don't know. But I was planning on doing Walmart, maybe going by Walmart tomorrow, and I needed to um, hit up a couple more places. So today is Michael's. Yesterday, I'm going to show you when I get back home, I'm going to show you what I found um, yesterday at um, Hobby Lobby because I need to clean out my car, fam. Okay, and I'm going to show you what I was able to pick up at Michael's today, if anything. So I'm going to hit up two Michael's today, and um, I may even stop by another... Um, hobby lobby on my way back home so anyway stay tuned you guys um thank you so much for joining me i really do appreciate your time you have a great day
All right, you guys. So, hey, 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 we're back. We're back at the back cave, fam. We ain't find none that Michaels that we were we was interested in, but I just wanted you guys to see um, some of the things that were on currently on clearance. So right now, Michaels is at uh, it looks like sixty percent, and so they'll be going to seventy five percent. And you saw how the Christmas is right now is like eighty percent. It's just sitting there and the price is sitting there the clearance is sit sitting there and the items are sitting there okay um you know it's a little bit more pricey hobby lobby and um michael's a little bit more pricey you know um so when their their percentage starts it's not like um you know going to uh dollar general on a 80 percent uh, that stuff would have been gone well, I take that back because Christmas, Christmas wasn't, you know, Christmas was just sitting there. They went down to a dime and they had to go to a penny to clear it out. So anyway, um, we're back at the Bat Cave and uh, we actually popped in Pop Shelf. And so you see uh, some of the things that are at Pop Shelf is at 50% Light Dollar General. So they're, you know, they're, they're right there together. Um, with the 50%, well, there was a couple of things in there that um, had, um, uh peeing it out and clearance out i you know um saw a few things in there but um nothing that i was interested in of course you know i ain't gonna leave no penis there so um so I, what i wanted to do is show you some things that i did pick up yesterday at hobby lobby um and this had really had nothing to do with christmas or valentine's day this was actually new year's right so um coming up shortly i'm going to have to uh Put out some um uh graduation baskets right so this is new year's and this was the let me turn it around right 2024 right so it's um a eight pack and i think there's two of each color in here say 2024 so what i'm gonna do not put the glasses in there but i'm gonna take that off and put it on my on my container that 2024 i'm gonna detach these little pieces right here you know cut it and put that 2024 so i have some schools that have the colors red blue and green and purple as a matter of fact we have um our high schools um colors are um some blue some red some purple and green so i was when i saw this i was like oh yeah that that'll be great and i already got some graduation bears so that'll be awesome and i got two of each color in here so i got um three packs so i will be able to make um six graduation um baskets per um, per high school and I'm gonna make sure that I post them and fam look At the Hobby Lobby they still have some Christmas stuff So I got these the two little babies right here for um 29 cents some little box socks or whatever the case may be now I still have some waffle makers So I went ahead and picked this up right here and I love that color pancake and what you know waffle mix And um, they was only half off. I mean, that's not really a big deal, you know, um you know, I could have left that there. You know what I'm saying? But it's pink um, pancake and waffle mix. So I got a couple of them so I can go ahead and uh, bag up. And I keep saying I'm not going to buy no more food. I'm not going to buy no more food because I'm finding myself um, throwing away a lot of money with food. And um, But these are cute, though. So uh, let me see. Um, these are the glasses. I think I got one in blue and one in pink. And um, they were so pretty, so pretty. So these right here um, are 89 cents. They were 89 cents. I got one blue and I got one pink, and I really, really like that. Okay, Easter is coming around, and for me, um, you know, to get um, to put together a basket where you know a couple can actually take communion together is, you know, is everything for me. Um, so. Um, get some of those and um, put together that little, you know, drinking cup or whatever the case may be, and um, and they can take communion together. And let me see. Oh, and another thing that I uh, plan to do, um, I have, um, I want to go and set up, um, and it's not hard for me to to to, uh, to uh, register for that. But there's a pier that I want to go and set up at, and um, I've already got the information and everything like that, and, it, and I found out that I would have to be down there um, three days out of the week. So I, you know, I go down and I, you know, commit to being a vendor, you know, one month at a time, you know, one 30-day period at a time. And 
the requirement is that I have to be there at least three days out of the week. So it's almost like going to a job, you know. But I was planning on doing some um, uh, Florida souvenir um, baskets. And so um, this would be great because that's our bird right there. And um, this is, I think it's 10 pieces in here. Each one of them is 10 pieces. And, you know, it's a little, um, it's a banner actually. So I can actually use um those 10 pieces and put on a um put on a on my gift containers and make it more like a florida deal and i already got some um beach towels that i found and i think i put up that video also at ollie's um really nice size towels for um beach towels for um, i think they turned out to be like 3 dollars something that was the best price i had seen on those beach towels i mean that are a quality towel you know i was able to roll it out and fold it i'm like yeah this is it right here i can actually you know chill with that make a blanket out of it it's so big so anyway i found these also these are what they want to call flip-flops and there's a two count of each colors and this is also a banner where I can actually detach these um, flip flops. I can actually detach them and put them on um, my container as well. And there's 10 in there. And I also, these are all in the party section. So I found these beach balls, they come in a 10, 10, um, 10 count as well. So um, I may put these in my, um, cause I think I got enough toys for my Easter basket. So I may actually put these um, in my Florida bags. That, that was the idea. And so also at Michael's, um, their Easter uh, ribbon was 40% off. And you know, it's a little far stretch for me on that right there, but I love those colors and they would go well um, with all the colors that's in my beach, um, beach towels and all the colors, they all go well. So. Um, I did, you know, stretch it and pick up a couple of those, and I, I had to study this real hard, fam, because I'm just like, I don't know what I was expecting it to just appear. I wanted this to be a wired ribbon, and I am aware that it is not. So, uh, we just gonna make it do what it do, okay? So, I picked that up, and then um, this was part of their little Valentine's, of course, with 66% off, and um, they only had a few of these, and these, this is um, actually ribbon. It's 10 yards of each color, um, Valentine's Day ribbon. And um, so this is not that streamer type deal. This is real ribbon, right? So I can actually use this on those kids baskets, you know, to tie it, tie it, whatever the case may be. I can tie it on the bag, tie the bow, put another bow on it, whatever. This would be very convenient for me for those kids baskets. And of course, you know, I don't have any of this, not like I'm, you know, hurting for no ribbon for Valentine's Day. But I went ahead and picked this up. You know, it was 66% off, and this is the only one they had left. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, this right here is also Valentine's Day ribbon, but it can actually be used. Um, so I have um, some um, uh, ribbon that I had picked up. Um, like, the, you know, um, it's a different type of ribbon. I think this would go really good with that. So I went ahead and picked those up yesterday at um hobby lobby the little ribbon um look like i got three of them so anyway they was 2.99 a piece that was awesome so um yes my florida souvenir baskets um come together so i'm just i haven't been able to find a container that i want so i'm gonna have to create it now. i'm gonna have to create the container that i'm that i want for that so um that is that um that is that that is that let me see what else is over here so yeah, some random stuff, you know what I'm saying, that was um on here, um over there. So what else did I get? Um what do they call these? What the heck do they call these right here? Um anyway, you know, just to jazz up my ribbons and you saw me and um Michael's looking at some different things and ways to jazz up my ribbon so um not that i'm going to use these to tie anchor it to the to the bag but when i make my um ribbon to you know add that little um a little you know uh decor to it add a little something to my ribbon and actually i got these to add to my ribbon as well um they're actually diamond rings and while i was looking at these i was thinking of a way that i can actually form my bows onto these um rings and so um yeah so i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna make my bows um and put these rings make my bows and put these rings around it 
So um, stay tuned for that. Um, I got a couple of those and I found some balloons yesterday. These are pearl, what they call pearl gold balloons. And um, they're actually 39 cent, right? So um, I got a lot of birthday stuff. Like I've been collecting birthday things. Um, so I'm going to be making birthday gift bags and I'm going to be posting them onto my um, website. And these are balloons are a uh, 20 count for um, 39 cents. So they actually ended up being 39 cents per pack. So I got those in the gold and also only found one of these. And that's a uh, birthday, of course, one. And that's one of those um, helium type, but well, four balloon and it says one. So um, this one right here it was 74 cents. So I went ahead and picked that up. And um, these right here are metallic balloons their uh, metallic balloons and they were also 39 cent in all of those colors so this is only an eight count and ended up being 39 cent for me that's all it's worth so um i picked those balloons up as well um and like i said i was trying to figure out some ways that i can do some bows differently um well i got these balloons as well and these are um navy blue they're 25 count and they were also um 39 cents at um, Hobby Lobby. So they were all uh, marked down like that. Okay. So I'm, I was telling you that I was um, trying to figure out how to um, make bows, uh, different bows, because like I said, I've already gotten started on some Easter baskets and I wanted to do something um, different with my bows. So what I decided to do, I ran into these little charms and they're actually um, 99 cents. So these little charms, um, I can actually put on some strings and actually, you know, put them on my bows. So I got a lot of tools. I, I showed you a previous haul that I got, um, Christmas haul that I got, after Christmas haul that I got from um, Hobby Lobby and it was a lot of tool, right? um the tool the fabric um and i gotta make some bows and i'm thinking you know the tool actually works by itself it just you know for me it just need a little extra so i bought some charms to add to the tool to um bring it out a little bit and these also um oh my hands oh they actually so anyway these are more little charms and they were um 99 cents so it was it was like 75 percent off so they're like regular price four dollars where well, these are regular price 99 cent and they actually say made with love so you know some other little charms to put on to my ribbon to connect to my bags or put on to my um um cards or whatever the case may be however i decided to do this i actually got four packs of this and they are 12 in a pack so um, made with love little charms that I'm going to be adding to those bowls so I'm not you know it's a lot of tool I bought a lot of tool you know I found out for Christmas and it was a great deal so I'm going to be utilizing that tool to make bowls but I needed a little bit of something you know to add to it so um, I, while I was you know looking at it I was thinking you know saying to actually put that on a um, put that on a uh, string or some of that um, ribbon that I was just showing you that thin thin ribbon <laughs> so the thin thin ribbon right to add a charm onto that you know knot it off and then tie my bow on with that so that charm could stand out on its own right so um just to do that and so um it's not going to be hard you know tool you know a little bit of ribbon like this and those charms you know to add and jazz up my um ribbons um not just for um easter but for mother's day because the kids the ribbons they you know it really don't take a whole lot and you know that little ribbon right there work just fine for tying off those kids gifts you know what i'm saying so and then also um these little uh i think they call them lumens or lamens uh, i forget what they call these little things statements okay so when i make my bows um i just tied it around and it'll just give it a, it look like a pearl or whatever you know um just to tie that off in there and it's like 144 of them in here child there's so many of them in here i don't know if i'll ever run out but that's just to add also you know to those two bows i was just trying to figure out how can i you know utilize the tool 
by itself and just you know jazz it up or whatever the case may be and uh some of my bowls i ended up gluing you know um hearts and all kinds of stuff to it and i still had to add some ribbon or whatever the case may be but um i'm gonna be using that tool bowl um and most of it is white and gold so we'll figure something else something out um with that and i got those balloons for my um birthday um gift baskets that i'm gonna be making and i'm gonna be putting those together and just putting those on my website and hopefully hopefully i can get rid of the rest of these waffle makers you know hopefully i can get rid of them i only bought three of them like i said it was only 50 percent off and you know that wasn't my ideal price for that but it is what it is and um those are the things that i was picking up you thought you would think your girl would be in there on some um after valentine's day stuff but fam i'm already thinking about i'm already thinking about graduation i mean i'm all the way all the way to the end of the end of the season with give bass you know pretty much you know 2024 baby we already in there and i'm telling you that red and that green if it don't go you know what i'm saying if it don't go it's gonna go you know what i'm saying for christmas so you know it is what it is it's 2024 so there's eight of them in here for 24 cents you know whatever the case may be it's not like buying food like i just like two four six that's six dollars if they don't sell that's six dollars i've lost but this right here it i ain't lost nothing okay so your girl already you know thinking about graduation time so um and uh thinking about what i can do you know that's what i be i ended up doing i find myself in these stores and i'll be making gift baskets as i be walking to the store <laughs> i'll be putting stuff together and i'm like oh that's cute sometimes i leave it like that you know just walk away from it um and then sometimes i might bring it home you know so um yeah so that's what your girl be doing sometimes in these stores and you know god bless that individual that come behind me and they like oh you know no that stuff don't go together i just put it together like that and left it that way um but yeah so i try not to leave it a mess you know i just leave a little cute little cluster or something right there so anyway um anybody walking in them stores that you know that's watching me you know you can say you know lasagna with such a piece of life a bit here <laughs> stop doing that but you know it's just you know i love shopping you know and i really 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 do you know i find peace in um you know gift basket um designing and so you know i'm in the store and those two things coupled together that's what comes out so um i be in those stores you know for quite some time and you know like michael's today i may walk out with nothing but you know i have really really enjoyed myself you know and so that's what the deal is so thank you so much for joining me today um that is the end of the haul that i got from um from hobby lobby um i hope that you guys um was um was able to you know prosper this year with valentine's day and i hope you stay encouraged you know um there's a lot of people in your community who need you like you know people in the hospital you know i had somebody that came through and um bought a gift and i don't know if i told you guys about this in the other video but um her mother-in-law yes i did i told you about this her mother-in-law was in the hospital her mother-in-law birthday actually was the day after um valentine's day and so um she was able to pick up a gift at my table for her mother-in-law and um it, it just really did my heart good you know it's a lot of um interactions that i've had in my community you know through this gifting um through gifting others that has really brought my heart joy and so um that's 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 why we're here fam you know um that's that's why we do it you know that that was the beginning of it all you know uh, like i said you know my grandmother she was is gone now and she was more like a mother to eight heads of us for you know quite some time you know she was the head of of uh, of our our family and um she took that on you know and so um it was really hard for me you know i agreed for a while you know with her and it was hard for me to get past that because everything that i was you know encountering in my life was something that was tied right back to her you know or something that she said or something that she did or you know just the impression that she made upon my life and so i was um you know taking it really hard she passed away on valentine's day so i, I was taking it really hard and i found a way 
you know, through um, gifting others and showing love to others and spreading love to others, you know, um, and just bringing smiles to other people's faces and, you know, giving them a reason to, you know, um, you know, move on, you know, and, and do the things that they needed to do. So it was a healing process for me as well. So anyway, I've told the story before. And um, so I, I'm going I'm to I'm stop that right there. Um, and and I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know, you guys just, you know, keep on pushing forward in your life and putting one foot in front of the other. I say this all the time, you know, keep your head up and put one foot in front of the other and just keep moving forward, fam. Just keep moving forward. And, you know, um, every day is not the same, you know, so um, if it was a um, if it was a not so good day yesterday, I hope that you can find in today a little more joy than you did yesterday. And, you know, today, if it's, you know, filled with joy, you know, just brace yourself down, you know, because every day is just not the same. But um, I really do uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm getting a little bit long-winded. I need to get out of this car because I need to go and um, clean up this mess that I've made. <laughs> Creating these gift baskets. I need to go clean up my mess. So I'm going to go, you know, I'll be getting my kids. But, you know, your girl be listen, especially when it get down to crunch time, fam. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you all bets are off everything, I'm talking about trying to, you know, get it done, get it done. And I'm I don't always have time to, you know, um, you know, you know, I just, I have to have some, some slides or something I can stick my feet in because I don't have time to tie no shoes. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get out the house. I got to, you know, I got to move forward. I have an idea. I have to put it together, you know, go get this, go get that. And I don't always, you know, especially at the crunch time, I don't always get everything back in its place, but Hey, chop, chop. That's what, that's what time it is right now. Cause you know, I got to get in here and see what kind of goodie bags I can put together for these kids and um and get ready get ready get ready okay for Easter and Mother's Day is to follow you know I just don't take for granted that you got a whole month of April you ain't got to worry about Easter you know in April that you got a whole month of April that you can get these Mother's Day gifts out no 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 fam you if you you know really really want to come out with a bang on Mother's Day you better get started honey and um and and get that done you know get started on it you know don't don't keep putting it off so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything situated today get everything put away say valentine's day and uh see how many containers i have and see what i need to do you know i already been taking a peek as i've been moving stuff around and putting things back in order and so that's what i'm doing um this weekend and um trying to get everything together so um you you guys um keep your head up and 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 um i'll see you in the next one fam <laughs>